Hello everyone, it's Helen and Cosmo's away right now, but we are Cosmo's Crafty Mom and we're here to do a fabulous Michaels haul. Um, they got some new summer paper pads. I was so excited. I didn't expect to see it and I saw. So I took some video. I took a video to show you what they have. Take a look. New paper pads at Michaels. So oh, um, they're on average, I think, 59, 58 sheets for $29.99, but this week they have a 40% coupon or there is a couple more that I'd like to get. There is the purple one I really, really love, um, but I'm going to wait till they go on sale. Maybe they'll have a 50% or maybe they'll have buy one, get one free. So I'll wait for that. So I bought two things today. So let me share. I bought the Bright Ear. Sorry, bright Ear. It's by Recollections. There is, um, it's 66.7 pounds, 12 by 12, and there's 58 sheets. Now, why I love this is because it's like uh, students starting the school year, and I still have so much to scrap for my kids when they were young in school years, and I never did any of it. So I thought, this is gonna be great for me to make those kind of projects. Um, and for anyone you know who has you know kids or grandkids, this is a great paper pad to use to um, scrapbook or even make cards for teachers, for your school, etc. So let's start. So the first page, I mean, it sold me right there. <laughs> How beautiful is that? So it's like it has um, some foiling. It doesn't feel like foiling. It just feels like a smooth page. But isn't that gorgeous? That is just simply beautiful. And I, I'm thinking, you know, when kids make, um, they give you pictures and stuff, they make them all kinds of colors and stuff. So maybe that's why the inspiration for this one is, but look how beautiful. So, and you get two of each. This one is just like a teal color. Then it has this one here with the rulers, the globe, the glue, the pencil, crayon, super fun. You could do so much with that. Then it has the alphabet. Of course, you go to school to learn your alphabet. So I thought that was really fun. It has the stripes here, like a rainbow stripe. Then it has these gorgeous cut apart. So the holographic uh, all around here. So, so cute. You know, noted. <laughs> Teachers know that type of thing. Isn't that fun? Then I love these colorful butterflies. They're in green and purple, two of my favorite colors. Looks like a little bit of orangey red, but what beautiful butterflies there. It has this pink paper here. Then it has um, 12 by 12, open a book, open possibilities. So even like the holographic all the way around, which is cool. You could cut this out and put it like on a scrapbook page, the flowers, the butterfly, really, really cute. Then it has this one here with all the pencils. Did you know kids go through lots of pencils? Then it has these cut parts here. New year, new adventure, reading list, first day of school. Like how cool is that? 
Then it has this full page here. I mean, you could do a scrapbook layout here, or you could cut it out and put different sections on a piece. It has the, um, the little squares to do math. I don't know. I don't know what you call them in English. Sorry. In um, French, it would be the papier quadrille. Then it has these gorgeous, gorgeous stars. Isn't that beautiful? On yellow. So pretty. So pretty. Then it has these flowers here. It has this red paper here. Then <laughs> adorable. It has the apples. So not only for school, but you could, you know, if you go apple picking or making apple pie or something, that'd be kind of fun. It has this one here with the lined paper pad, a little apple on the bottom. So cute. And then this, you remember this when you have to do like, um, I guess writing. I never know what the word is in English, but you know, you practice your letters and you go through the little squares and stuff super cute. It has all the little crayons here. Just adorable. Then it has bright days ahead and there's some clouds. It has these cut aparts there. Isn't that gorgeous? So beautiful. It has like an orange paper here. Then it has this um, page. It's a great day to learn something new. Then it has this one. It's kind of like the first page, but it's just in red and white. Like you could do like maybe even a Canada Day layout and use this. Like it's gorgeous paper. Really, really gorgeous. It has this uh, six by six cut apart. And I love this. The color is gorgeous. It has like, you know, the school bus, the books. So much fun. Then it has like a yellow um, color. And then it has all these little rainbows. Super cute. And then I love this. It's actually little rulers. Almost like in a pink mauve color. Super cute. So that is it for this pad here. Just to make sure. Yeah. So yeah, bright ears. Really, really cool. And then I found something amazing. So I love to make flowers and do different projects and I love different kinds of paper. And I've never seen anything like this before. So they had Recollections Foil Cardstock Paper Pad. But it's multicolor. So there's 48 sheets. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's eight sheets of each. It's four and a half by seven, but let me show you. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, sorry, though. It's not showing it properly because of the lighting or my camera, but. So there's that one. Gorgeous. Hopefully you can see. Hopefully you can see. Like just all spirals of different colors, all foiled. And it's just different, you know. This one here has, um, I can see a little bit more. This one, you, when you film foil paper, you always get like those lines. It has this one here. So it's just like a mixture of colors. But you can do so many projects with these. It has this one here. This is more like a, it's like a light pink kind of beige. And then this one here is like a blue. But you'll see it better here <laughs> on the cover. So you're saying, Helen, what are you gonna do with this? Oh my goodness. First of all, you can make like butterfly die cuts. How beautiful would that be? You're putting on your projects with all the multicolors. You can make different flowers. You could do, um, words like if you want to say happy birthday and you cut it out with the paper put it on white or something that would really really pop i mean there you know you could do dragonflies you could do so many different um you know you could do different like circles and put them on your projects 
it's just I just find this very unique and very different and I was just really wowed um, by the colors and I just thought you know this is something different I have a lot of foil paper but in single colors but I have nothing like this this is just spectacular just beautiful and I'm sorry my camera's not really getting the the gist of it but you can see from the outside this is what they would look like but they are foiled so hopefully you like this as much as I do. I'll have to come back and show you some projects I've made with these. I'm looking forward to playing with this. Um, again, recollection. So uh, my paper pad here was $29.99, but I had a 40% coupon, so it was like $18. And this was $14.99, but I used another 40% and I got it for like $8 and something. So not too bad. I'm happy with my purchase. So both items were under $30 today. So. And sometimes you just need to treat yourself, right? So, you know, for me, paper is treating myself because it's not that expensive. And yes, I have lots of paper, I know, but I just love it. I just love it. And now I'm starting to do scrapbooking and stuff like that. So I'm using more and more paper so I can justify buying some more, right? <laughs> Thank you all for watching. I appreciate you visiting. Um, please give us a pause up or a thumbs up. Uh, greatly appreciate it. And until our next video, take care, everyone. Bye.